Andy, let's talk for a little bit about energy efficiency requirements in code. We do at Building Knowledge, we do a lot of work helping builders apply to the building codes, meeting it through performance path. And I'll be quite frank, um, even as history as a home builder myself, um, performance path is without question the most cost effective way to meet these codes. Well, and that's really no surprise because as an engineer, the prescriptive paths were done by energy modeling and they had to be by definition conservative. They didn't know exactly the size of house. They didn't know the difference between say townhouses or multifamily and single family. So by definition, they're very conservative and we get to use the same modeling tool to optimize. And that's why performance path absolutely ends up being, well, you said cost effective, would you agree, can also be simpler. What we have found over the last few years is with our Builder 360 system at Building Knowledge Canada, uh, we make the process for doing the performance modeling, developing a single package for all the homes that's far less expensive than code prescriptive. To get started, it's uh, we sit down, we do a discovery again, part of our Builder 360 process, get a sense of what you're building today, uh, the materials you're using, the products you're using. We look at some of the plans, we ask for a set of your plans, and the earlier the better in the design stage, but even if it's last minute, um, and we do some energy modeling. We start to look at different packages uh, that you can apply to the home to meet the code. And uh, what's interesting to us is we often find when we look at homes with performance path is that the homes are actually performing substantially better than actually the prescriptive code percentage wise. It is interesting, right? Depending on the choices the builders have made with respect to suppliers and trades, often we get to use the creativity of their suppliers and their trades to say, hey, you get to take credit for some of the innovations you've already applied in your houses in order to meet those code requirements. Yeah, and one of the interesting things too we often come across is when they see how they're already exceeding the building code um, and we can help recognize that with what we call our Home 360 program. We recognize anything that's over the minimum code. What they often see is, well, I'm already doing better than the minimum and then they realize I'm actually doing almost as good as Energy Star levels. So it really helps them move forward into yeah. either future codes or these voluntary programs that we love working with. Absolutely. Thanks very much.